Hey friends, it's Aubrey. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you four quick and easy dinner recipes for your family. Hopefully this gives you some inspiration on what you can make for dinner this week. And if you do like this video, definitely subscribe to my channel. I make weekly content every Sunday at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time, and I hope you enjoy. The first dinner I'm making are tachos, so tater tot nachos. I love this recipe and this idea just because it's so versatile and you can make it have any toppings that you want and so it's super family friendly. You can even portion out certain sections of these and have specific toppings just on there so that way if you have any picky eaters hopefully they will find something they like to put on these. I added about a half of a packet of taco seasoning to the tater tots and then I'm just stirring it around and then I'm just going to cook it according to the package instructions. Once the tater tots are fully cooked you can add any toppings you like. I added the rest of the cheese that we had and some taco meat. You could add beans or other types of meat to it or other types of cheese, really any topping that you like. And then you'll go ahead and put it back in the oven just so that the cheese gets all melty and nice. Here are the finished tachos. I wish we would have had more cheese, but these ended up being so good. I topped it with some avocado and salsa. You could top it with sour cream or any of your favorite taco fixings. I definitely recommend this one just because it is so versatile and it was super yummy. I didn't get a video of this one with the prep work, but basically what I did was I browned the meat on both sides after I seasoned it with some onion, garlic, Lowry's, and pepper. And once that was brown, I put it into the crock pot and added two tablespoons of minced garlic, two seasoning packets of the Italian dressing mix, and put about a half cup of water and let that cook for about five to six hours on low and then while that was finishing up cooking i went ahead and got the buns prepped just put some butter and lowry's on them and shredded up the beef and once i had all the beef shredded and the buns were toasted i put the meat into the buns sprinkled some cheese on there and just put it underneath a 350 oven for a few minutes until the cheese started to get nice and bubbly we serve this aside a salad, but you can definitely serve it with other sides as well. It turned out really good. The meat was a little bit tough, but I think if we get a little bit fattier of a cut of meat next time we make it, we'll definitely be using the same seasonings and process because this recipe turned out really good. The next recipe is garlic honey chicken. This is one of my favorites, especially with chicken thighs. We didn't have chicken thighs, we had chicken tenders, so we just did that instead. So you add a half cup of soy sauce, a half cup of honey, and then you can stir that together to get it kind of combined. Once that's combined, you will add in three tablespoons of garlic. I also added in about a half a teaspoon of black pepper and then about a teaspoon of onion powder. Thank you. 
Into your crock pot, you'll add one to two pounds of chicken. And then since your sauce is well combined, you'll dump that on top and you'll cook it on low for four to five hours or high for two to three hours. I let mine go a little too long and so it came out a little overcooked. Luckily, it still tasted really good and we had some broccoli and rice with it and the sauce is delicious. Definitely recommend making this, especially with chicken thighs. dinner I made was instant pot pork chops and I will be sure to leave the recipe to this one in the description box below. It turned out really good and it was way faster and easier for me to cook the pork chops in the instant pot than on the stove and so definitely recommend this recipe. There's a third of a cup of soy sauce and then a third of a cup of honey. And then we'll add a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar and two tablespoons of ketchup. You can also use chili sauce if you prefer that. We just didn't have any, so I used ketchup today. The next thing you'll add is a tablespoon of olive oil and you will mix that together and then we'll start cooking the pork chops. bit of oil in my instant pot and turned it on the saute function and just browned the sides of the pork chops. I seasoned it with a little bit of pepper. You can add additional seasonings but I was following the recipe so I just added a little bit of pepper. browned both sides of the pork chops you'll take them out and put them on a plate and then do the same with the rest of the pork chops that you have once you're done browning all of your pork chops you'll add in four cloves of minced garlic i just used the jar stuff because it's a lot easier and i just kind of eyeballed it and put it in there and started getting it a little bit fragrant. And once it was fragrant, I added in our sauce mixture and scraped off the brown bits on the bottom to get that flavor into the sauce. Once you get all of the brown bits off the bottom, then you'll add the pork chops back into the Instant Pot. all of the pork chops are in there you will go ahead and pressure cook it using the manual button or pressure cook button for one minute and then you will let it naturally release for at least five minutes really love 
love how this one turned out. The pork chops were really juicy. The sauce was really good. We had it with some mashed potatoes, corn, and applesauce, but you can definitely serve it alongside just about anything. Definitely recommend this recipe. You should try it out with your family. That is all I have for you guys today. If you did enjoy, definitely leave me a like. And if you have other recipe suggestions, leave those in the to comments box down below and I also post weekly videos every Sunday and so if you like what you saw here today please consider subscribing to my channel I'd love to have you here and I hope you have a great rest of your week bye